Now that we have our walls complete, it's time to complete the windows and the doors. In your palette, you'll see that there's door and window options. We're going to bypass these options by creating different types of windows and different types of doors by scrolling down. You can still do it here and change the properties, but we're going to scroll down and select Content Browser. If your screen is not maximized, it's easier to see everything, all your options, by putting it up instead of having it restored down. Use the Design Tool Catalog Imperial. We use the AutoCAD English Imperial. We use the Design Tool Catalog Imperial. Please don't use any other catalogs as it might not work for our AutoCAD that we have open. Single left click. You see on the left side, there's a whole bunch of different options for different types of items in your home. We're going to focus on the doors and windows. Single left click. You'll see here are options. You could search, but in the search, you'll also notice that other options from other catalogs may pop open. So we're going to stay with our search of just browsing. We're going to select doors. You can see there's five pages of different types of doors that are available to you. We're going to select first the bifold double by hovering over the door itself and select insert in the drawing. What it's looking for right now is an actual wall to attach the door. Single left click on this wall, although this is a sliding door, we're going to change it to a bifold door. And you can see it's trying to snap to a wall. We're going to single left click and then select escape. And you'll see it forms inside the wall. Just like the wall width, we need to change the door opening. We're going to double click and change the properties of the door. We're going to scroll down until we see the width of the door. Currently, it's at 3 feet or 36 inches. We're going to select 47 inches and select enter. You can see currently the door wants to form beyond the path of the wall. So we're going to simply take the grip, click, and drag to our reference point. Once the triangle pops up, left click, and you'll see it forms on the inside of the door. Select Escape. On the other doors, we're going to do the same manner. In your taskbar, you should still see your content browser. If not, go back into your tool palette and open it back up. I'm going to go through and check the different types of doors that are available to me. For interior doors, we really don't need anything fancy, especially into the cabin. So we're just going to go with a hinged single. Hover over and select Insert in Drawing. You'll notice this particular door also has a width of 3 feet, which is standard within these uh, areas. I'm going to single left click on this door, and regardless of which way it's swinging, I'm going to left click on the little reference line. Now I could hit escape, however, I'm going to keep going and single left click on that opening, and single left click in this opening over here, and select escape. Just like the other grips on the walls in this door over here, there's grips on these doors. Regardless of which way it's swinging, I can click on any of these arrows to have the door flip. Stay with the reference swing. Here we have direct access into the room, swinging towards a wall. We're going to select Escape. And down here, we're going to do the same thing. Click, click, and Escape. This door here needs to be resized because it's a bathroom and there's nothing passing through this doorway except a human being. We don't need it three feet wide. These doors, we could be passing furniture, larger items, and so on. I'm going to single left click since my properties is already up and change the width, in this case, to two feet, represented as two, the foot symbol, or the apostrophe, dash, or minus, 
8, which is already going to recognize as inches, and select Enter. You could also, to bypass, putting an apostrophe and the minus, or the foot symbol, and a dash, you could also type in 32, and that would recognize it as inches. I'm going to move the door over a little bit to get into the area that I've snapped to. I'm going to flick the door around by means of clicking on the arrows and swinging towards the wall so I have direct access into this bathroom. This door here, we might need to resize only because it's sticking into the wall a little too far. I'm going to select this wall and I'm going to type in my 45 inches. See if it pops in. If it does, and you can see that the wall disappeared. Select Escape. The windows, in the same manner, we can go back into our tool catalog and we'll hit the back button a couple times, or you could go back to the door and window or catalog top. You can select windows, and you see the variant amount of windows that are available to you, eight pages. Regardless of which type of windows, they do have to serve a purpose. I'm going to select page eight with the shutters, and I'm going to select insert into drawing. And I'm going to select, once again, the wall, and left click. Select the wall and left click. These windows are going to be different. I'm going to select Escape. In the same manner, you can see my shutters are formed on the inside. So just like the door, we can click and we can flick the window facing the correct way. You can see the representation of the shutters are now on the outside of the wall. These windows, I'm going to go all the way back to page one, page two, and I'm going to select a bay window. Although it's not common to have a bay window in a cabin, I'm going to select the bay window for this cabin. Select Escape. You can see, obviously, these windows are too small for this opening. This opening is five feet. The windows, just like the doors, come up as three foot as default windows. I'm going to select this, this window, just to show you the different options. And the width, I'm going to type in five feet. Or you could also type in 60 for the inches. And you can see it goes right to that line. This one, because I do have a reference, I'm going to use the grip. That's a triangle. Click hold and drag it larger. I wouldn't suggest doing that unless you actually had a reference window or line in your drawing. Go through and single click and delete all the references throughout your project. by single left clicking and selecting the delete key on the keyboard. In this window, I need to move down. Single left click and select delete. Close properties, double left click. You've now completed the doors and windows for this lesson.